Gang, gang, hey man, what's going on with you, gang, man? It's been a while, man. Uh, we'll get to that later. But this video here is for, um, you know, all the new people that's getting into the Monte Carlo SS game. Um, uh, a lot of people is buying clones and, and not knowing it. Um, there's a simple way you can tell if your SS is a true SS. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of people with Monte Carlo don't, probably don't even know this. Because there's a lot of people that's swapping dashes, swapping interior. You know what I'm saying? And, and swapping the nose clips on them. You know what I mean? And you, you you don't know what you're buying these days if you don't know what to look for. You know what I mean? Like, I could ride behind a SS. I could tell what year it is. I could pass one. Like, go by one, I can tell what year it is. You know what I'm saying? I can walk around one, I can tell what year it is. You know, uh, we'll get into that later on. But one simple way you can tell is uh, read that VIN number. 83s to 88s. Let's start with the 83. The 83 is different. The 83, the eighth digit on the 83 must be a seven. A number seven. If the eighth digit is not a number seven on the 83, it's not a true SS. From 84 to 88, that eighth digit has to be a G. G is in God. It has to be a G. If that eighth digit is not a G on 84s to 88s, it's not a true SS. And that's a simple way how you could tell right there. You know, uh, a lot of people got the misconception that uh, 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 true SS means T-tops. No. A true SS has nothing to do with T-tops. A true SS has nothing to do with bucket seats. A true SS has nothing to do with a flow shift. Alright? That eighth digit has to be a G. 84 to 88. And on the 83s, it has to be the number 7. You know what I'm saying? Too many swapping. Too many people out here swapping stuff. And um, you never know, you know what I'm saying? And I know I've had a bunch of them. I had a whole gang of SS. Stuff. So um, with that being said, that's how you can tell, man. Um, what we finna do right here, man, I ran into an issue yesterday. My uh, battery is not keeping charge. Uh, I don't know if I'm running too much of a load to it. Um, that holly blue fuel pump drawing some power every time i switch it on my shit drop a whole vote that's what the car running uh when i turn my electric fans on it drop a whole vote when i turn my headlights on it drop a whole vote when i turn my blinkers on it drop a half a vote so when i turn everything on i'm down to like 10 votes that's what the car running so i'm thinking i may need to go get it checked i was gonna go take it today Drive it about what is it about six miles up the street? Go get it checked out, but man, it, it's storming out you So um, I can't drive that car in the rain. I ain't gonna say I can't drive it in the rain. I don't want to. Um, not on those tires. Uh, it, it that thing get loose, man. So that's even with you driving it slow. So we'll wait to see if it clear up tomorrow, and I take it up there. It don't shook everything loose. I've had to come back, retighten everything just about up underneath that hood. My uh, fuel system lines was loose. I mean, um, I had some loose stuff going on on the carburetor. Back there in the trunk, all my wires loose. I had to redo that yesterday, tighten everything down. I know everything tight now. And before, it was only getting like nine volts. But when I tighten everything down, um, it read 12.2 again, but when you crank the car up, it's supposed to, you know, jump up about 13.6, 13.5, whatever the case may be. It ain't doing that. It's not doing that. It's staying at 12.2. That got me thinking it's just running off the battery. All right. Uh, tighten up the wire to the alternator. That sucker was crazy loose. You can sit here and just go like this with it. And, but now it's maintaining 12.2. But when you go to turn it on all your accessories, uh, it's dropping big time. So um, you gotta go get that checked out. Um, but other than that, gang, man, y'all stay tuned. We got, uh, 
I got a close friend stopping by. We're going to put the sunroof up in here. We're going to touch up the interior and everything. Uh, I was going to change the color on my interior. And I decided I'm going to just keep it burgundy, man. Um, the original car, the original color to that car is white. So um, I'm either going to paint it white or I'm going to go with a candy. Um, I got about a month to uh, figure that out. But I'm going to try to keep it as close to original as I can with a little bit of modifications. Uh, one thing I do not like about the G-Bodies is I don't like that antenna. Uh, that big long head, no, I don't like it. I don't, I, I don't like it. It looks old and country because I remember I'm from that era. People really had CVs in their cars, like how truck drivers do, and it make it look so old-fashioned to me. I, I, I don't like that antenna on the car, so I'm getting rid of that. And other than putting the the uh, sunroof in there, the the panoramic roof in there, that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep it as close to original as I can. And um, that's that, gang. Peace, light, and love, all. Yeah, yeah.